Since I already have both phones here at the moment, the Huawei P9 Lite and the Samsung Galaxy A5 2016, I thought it would be time for a rematch because both in my opinion are actually still in their prime when it comes to the best mid-range phones at around $2 to $250. And back then when I already actually made this comparison, I didn't make an in-depth one and I didn't make one with the A5 2016 running Marshmallow, which actually makes quite a big difference on which one I would recommend you now. But I would say let's get all into that and start off with the design and build quality. They actually kind of look similar, both being quite rectangular, but in terms of materials, quite a difference. Because here we have plastic that in my opinion actually almost feels like metal because it feels very high quality and it's also very grippy. So it feels great and it's really nicely done. We have though the glass bag on the A5 2016. Both actually feel kind of similar because both are quite boxy. The P9 Lite actually feels a little bit more compact even though it isn't because if we quickly compare them, you will see it is a little bit taller and it actually is a tiny little bit wider but due to maybe a nicer design or something else it feels really great in the hand this one has more of a premium heft and feels really great though as well so not a huge difference if we quickly compare the buttons and so on we have the power button here and the volume rocker on the right side on the yp9 light where we have only the power button on the right side which is kind of nicely placed but i prefer the one on the p9 light both here have the microphone on the upper right side, headphone jack though on the top on the P9 Lite. Volume rocker here is on the left side as on all Samsung phones here, the SD card and SIM card tray where it's here actually on the Samsung. Otherwise, what do we have at the bottom? We have both micro USB, speakers are both right bottom but we have the headphone jack on the left side here so that's pretty much already it not really much to tell we have a notification LED on the p9 light which is not the case on the a5 2016 which is a bummer for a lot of people but i get that in terms of the fingerprint reader the one on the p9 light is definitely a lot better because the one on the samsung as you can see you will have to press and hold and it's not quite the quickest process but the one on the p9 light is for me at least with my short fingers placed a little bit high but the great thing is that you usually don't even have to press the whole finger and only a part actually is enough and it unlocks super nice and fast and definitely is in my opinion the better solution here overall but i would say it's already time to get to the sound and what i will do is give both the same conditions both placed side by side since both are firing down downside and the speakers are positioned pretty much the same microphone being just above it is fair enough if we do this just right now. So let's start off with the P9 Lite. And now the A5. Okay, in terms of blocking, they are both pretty much the same since the location is the same. The one on the P9 Lite, in my opinion, is though noticeably louder. Sounds a little bit clearer because as you have maybe noticed, the one on the Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 sounded a little bit muffled. Still okay, both are definitely loud enough, but I definitely prefer the one on the P9 Lite. It's not by much and the one on the A5 2016 is still totally fine as well. But if I have to choose a winner, it's the P9 Lite, but where it wins, on the, in the A5 side is definitely the headphone jack. Louder, more options here, just a better quality in general. So the win here goes for that. Now let's tackle the display. We are using an IPS display here, 5.2 inches, full HD, and we are using here an AMOLED display. Of course, the calibration is a little bit different. We have adaptive running on the Samsung, and for some reason it doesn't wanna scroll. Okay, now it does. And as you can see, the calibration isn't actually that different, but the one on the P9 Lite is definitely more natural in terms of maximum brightness. Due to my just recently bought Lux meter, it says to me that the P9 Lite has about 400, maybe 420 Lux, where this one has about 600. So it should be noticeably brighter. It doesn't really feel that extreme. I've set them now pretty much both to 200, so things should be a little bit clearer. As you can see, we have a little bit more saturation here, a little bit of a darker display here. I definitely like both. Viewing angles are top on both. Whites are definitely a little bit nicer on the P9, just a little bit whiter, but you can set the color temperature in the settings here, which you can't on the, P on the A5. But otherwise, I definitely like both. 
I just like the A5 in terms of pop a little bit more, but in my opinion, it comes pretty much down to what you want. Do you want an IPS display or do you want an AMOLED display? Because this is still pretty much the thing. Both are for what they are, for an IPS and for an AMOLED display, pretty much top notch, top on their game in this price range. Definitely both a great job. It just really comes down to what, pre what you prefer. But otherwise I would say, let's already get into the performance. Let me end all apps and I will try to get this as close as possible. So. Okay, in my opinion here the A5 one. Even though I still have to say for me it doesn't matter so much because these are minor differences. Yes, one maybe launches one app a little bit further next time, the other one doesn't matter. Both do an absolutely nice job. Both are quite responsive and this is what is important for me. But as you can see, this is totally fine. So let's get into the browser get this out of the way and check the browsing scrolling first as you can see both are still loading let's give them up man okay as you can see <clears throat> sorry the p9 light very smooth pretty much no lag but we have a little bit of a blurry scrolling this is just normal on ips displays this feels a lot smoother on the a5 2016 but therefore it has a little bit more micro lag but this is nothing you should be bothering about because both perform really nice it's pretty much just sharper scrolling against more blurry scrolling but both are quite smooth both no problems here at all let me try to get this done once again as you can see the p9 light has a little bit less lag but just therefore doesn't seem as nicely smooth and this is pretty much the same thing as you will see always if we get into that here Nothing loaded. Let's try this and go back. As you can see here, both do an absolutely fine job. The P9 Lite has the upper hand when it comes to the multitasking because there is a free gigabyte version available, which I'm using here, which the P9, uh, which the A5 doesn't have. So that's the upper hand. I really like the performance here since Marshmallow. The hard lag is gone and it is way more pleasurable. I would have a hard time deciding because it is the smoother, more lag free performance on the p9 with the better multitasking but therefore here this one in some occasions just feels smoother which is something that i personally prefer but both do a top job no nothing to complain here about either one gaming performance is also quite similar i would maybe give a slight edge to the p9 light but that's pretty much it now let's talk about the battery life first of all the bad part about the a5 i mean the p9 light the charge time it is at around three hours where the a5 only needs about one and a half that is noticeably a bummer because a lot of people i like i know don't like that so much in terms of battery life we are looking at about five six hours on average on the a9 where i would say Expect pretty much the same on the A5, maybe half an hour more or so. It's not really a match, so I would say pretty much a draw. Now, when it comes to the software, and both are using stock now because I know a lot of people just want to see that. I definitely give the win to the A5 because I think what Grace UI does these days is just a little bit more modern, nicer what they did here since we are not using Nougat on either one where the P9 would come a little bit close because as you can see, no app draw. And this is what the notifications look like, a little bit drawn, like not my style. As you can see here, here we have least have the draw and the quick settings now are quite nice because you can quickly get to them like this. So I definitely prefer it. Both can be themed and then in my opinion, both look a lot nicer. But since everyone wants a C stock, this is what it is. And which one you here prefer is your thing. We have the more useful features on the A5 by now because we have kind of this palm option. But what I like on the... P9, for example, we can rearrange the buttons. This is just something still that a lot of people want. And otherwise, though, not really too much to tell because it really comes down to what kind of UI you prefer. This one is still for a lot of people like you are like iOS, where this is still touch with as it is. And I don't want to get too far into that because I would just say it like this. If you want definitely more mainstream approachable UI get after all the a5 makes a little bit more sense to me if you want a still nice ui but with a few differences just being a little bit odd which gets though better with nuclear which it should get quite soon the p9 light isn't that bad after all but i give the win definitely to the a5 so let's check the cameras and here it will be actually quite hard because one thing you will notice is selfies on the p9 light and look better because the first picture will always be the p9 light and the second one as you can see here the a5 2016 as you can see here 
it looks a lot more natural actually even sharper on the p9 light as you can see the a5 doesn't do a bad job but the white balance and the naturality of the colors just isn't as right as you can see here once again and a little bit weird on the a5 indoors pretty much the same a little bit sharper on the p9 light but still still holds up a little bit more blurry on the a5 same once again p9 against the samsung same once again here huawei versus samsung so still okay but i give the win here to the P9. Now, when it comes to low light, definitely the bigger upper hand for the A5 because as you can see here, it picks up a lot more light, noticeably sharp. And here, once again, the P9 light doesn't do a bad job. It takes a little bit longer for it to get it done, but ah, the A5 really does a great job indoors and in low light situations. It's just as you can see here, adds quite a noticeable amount more of sharpness and details here once again. So in low light, it kind of almost destroys the not that bad camera of the a of the p9 light outdoors pretty much though the same as you can see not a bad shot but a way sharper nicer one way more detailed here once again p9 light does a nice job shutter times are fast but there is just something about the sharpness and overall details of the a5 where it really just has the upper hand as you can see once again here it wins it wins noticeably and pretty much in every aspect we have a higher amount of better shots the shots just look noticeably nicer even more so natural Top camera, I have to say, for this price range, this is pretty much as good as it can be. P9 Lite still holds up quite okay, but it is just no match after all for the A5. This is just so much obvious, as you can see here once again. This is, it is obvious. This is now a video of the P9, where I still think it doesn't have the upper hand, definitely feel true. I never liked the P9 Lite video cam because we don't have autofocus and as you can see the video is quite jittery. It looked actually quite quite laggy on the viewfinder and yeah, this is just no match because if we check the A5 here, noticeable better, we didn't have the best weather but way smoother video, way nicer transitions, we have autofocus, we have OIS and therefore a little bit less shaky video. So definitely easily better. So absolutely no doubts about that. And that's why I would already say, let's get to a little bit of a summary. Design comes down to kind of what you want. I kind of like the in-hand feel a little bit nicer of the P9 Lite, but the more premium feel due to glass, whatever you find to be a little bit more grippy would be the A5. So I give it a kind of draw. My personal subjective opinion would be the P9 Lite because also of the better working fingerprint reader. Display... I kind of give a draw also again because both for what they are are pretty much the best as you can get in this price range. If you prefer more natural and really nicely done, P9. If you prefer impressive, a little bit brighter of a display and AMOLED after all with the perfect blacks, the A5. Personally, I have a hard time because recently I still like AMOLEDs a little bit more so I could maybe favor that. Now in terms of speaker sound, definitely the wind to the P9 light just sounds a little bit brighter, a little bit louder, a little bit nicer. The A5 though does a nice job. Headphone jack to quality, it wins just louder, more options, better. Performance really also comes down to what you prefer. If you prefer a smoother, more lag free, but therefore a little bit more blurry and with the tweaked scrolling of the Huawei, a little bit different behavior, the P9 Lite still these days for what it is in this price range does an absolutely great job. But now with Marshmallow and the hard lag being gone, still a little bit there, but the nicer due to the higher refresh rate AMOLED panel, smoother feeling scrolling, the A5 does a great job. So it's hard to choose. I would have a hard time. So I will kind of give this a draw one. And I don't like to give that many draws, but like I said, now these two are closer together than ever. Battery life, I will give a slight edge to the A5, since with Marshmallow it did approve a little bit, but both are absolutely top. In terms of software, here I give the clear win to the A5. I just prefer what they did with Grace UI. We have nicer themes, they change more, we have more useful options, but give EMUI a chance and you will get pleasantly surprised actually, and with NuGet this will get even better. When it comes to the camera, there's not really a huge competition because yes, for selfies, the P9 Lite was a little bit better, but for video and photos, the A5 pretty much crushed the P9 Lite after all. So which one is the overall winner? And as I said, I pretty much won't even choose one because they are as similar as they are in terms of quality, kind of different after all. Priced at around 250, this one, and this around 240, but usually you can get it already quite often for about 200 both offer a great value 
and it comes down to your preference. Do you like the more premium design, the better camera, the AMOLED display, overall great qualities? Go for the A5, definitely you won't regret it either. But I have said it already so many times, this is kind of the king under 300, around $250 right now. Still a premium in and feel great fingerprint reader, a really nice natural display, great performance, top sound, not a headphone jack so much. Battery life is top on both, the software can be get done and the camera is still okay. So I guess if you have watched this comparison, it looks like the kind of winner would be the A5, but I still like so many aspects of the P9 Lite so much that I have a harder time than ever and that's why I will give it a value draw, an overall draw and like I said, it it is, they are both pretty much on this level but what they do is just different in what kind of focus they have towards the target market and that's why I will leave this for you. I know a lot of people just always want to know I don't care about this, this, this. I just want to know which one you think is better and I honestly this time can't really decide if I would have to settle for one, which one that would be, because I like both, but for a little bit of a different reason, and it is pretty much impossible for me. But what I would like to know from you, if you can choose, or if you can, especially if you have one of these, which one you prefer, and maybe this will help the other people here in the comments, but otherwise that would have been it. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up, subscription down there below, and the comments, of course, and as always, have a nice day. Bye.